Hey, what's up guys? Grown Hobby coming back to you guys with a mail day. That's right, we have an overdue mail day here, a few packages to get to. Mostly fan mail, a couple of really uh, sort of bigger packages actually, so we'll see how long this goes. But uh, we also got a little bit of redemptions and stuff like that that came in. So I want to share with you guys a few things here. We're going to do the redemptions right off the bat. And then uh, we'll get into the actual fan mail. So first off, guys, I don't have this in the package. I just want to show you guys the card. You don't really need the unveil. But from this exact box, actually, right there in the background, 2021 Definitive Collection, we got a redemption in there. We got a Hideki Matsui uh, that was supposed to be limited out of 30. Uh, autograph card, frame card, which is a case hit. And we got that bad boy right there. We got card number one of 30. Hideki Matsui on card autograph. Gold frame edition there from Topps Definitive Collection which once again, those gold frames are a case hit, which I found out after uh, we opened the box. But there you go, nice little Hideki action right there. Beautiful looking card. And next, I opened this just to see what it was because I have so many outstanding redemptions right now. But uh, from Upper Deck, guys, I'll show you guys even the letter here in brief. I don't think there's anything personal. I just want to make sure. Nope. Okay, so if you have an expired redemption, uh, from Upper Deck, this is what you're going to get back if you mail in the redemption card. Now, I should preface this by saying redemption cards have to be for something with a signature. They will not do like a jersey swatch or, you know, basic numbered rookie, things like that. It has to be something that's autographed, uh, that's an expired redemption. You can mail that in. They put you in this raffle. They guarantee to mail you something. This is the letter they give you. It basically just says, thanks for participating. And here is your redemption raffle card. So, with no further ado, this redemption card was from 0304 SPA. We pulled a Cujo Sign of the Times autograph, so Curtis Joseph. And what they gave me in place of it is one single card. But, look at that bad boy from Clear Cut. And that is, I'll show you guys really quick the back. That is from 1920 Clear Cut. So, this year's Clear Cut, so to speak, even though it's last year, I guess, not at this point. But, uh,. From 1920 Clear Cut, we got the embedded endorsements. Nice on card signature. 3 of 25, Joe Pavelski, even though ironically it's not a clear cut card there. But uh, those embedded endorsements can be pretty nice. And I actually have no Joe Pavelski signature, so that's going to be the first one I have. So nice Joe Pavelski signatures there, upper deck coming through. I do appreciate that upper deck. Like I said, I have pretty good customer service experience with upper deck. So I really, you know, can't bash on them. Same with Tops. Panini's the only one that I have, you know, real problems with. But, uh, yeah, that being said, let's get into the fan mail. So I'm going to start with the smaller package first. I got everything white out here because I don't want to show the uh, address or info and stuff like that if they don't want this to be shown on camera, which I don't blame them. But uh, this first one here is going to be from Brad Jacobson. And all I did was actually just cut the end off to make it easier, but I have not pulled anything out yet. I haven't uh, even previewed this for myself. But uh, you guys know the P.O. box is always in the description. But, uh, you know, I, I don't tell you guys to mail me anything. If you do, I, you know, it's much appreciated. Um, and I will definitely try my best to send you guys something back. And actually, real quick before we get into this, Brad Jacobson, I recognize that. And obviously, I waited out the address. I have the address. I saved it. But uh, I believe your brother, I'm going to guess, sent me something here in one of the other fan mail videos that we just did recently. And I was putting together a package for him. And uh, with you guys having the exact same address, same last name, just different first name, I'm going to assume you guys are brothers. I am going to put together a nice kind of combined package. Uh, I had not mailed the other one yet, so I'm going to send you guys a combined package if you're seeing this video. But let's see what we have in here today. The package from, like I said, I believe your brother was very, very nice. Actually, I'm just going to pull out all these stacks. The same thing kind of in the other one. No, uh, no letter or anything like that. Uh, but like I said, I do have your address and name, so... I will take care of you guys for sure. Nice little stack of cards here and stuff and some team bags. We'll see what we have here. It looks like a mixture, just like your brother kind of sent, of uh, different sports. Let's bust this first team bag open and see what we have in here. And we got a nice Patty Marlowe. Show you guys that numbering there. 16 of 40 from Ice. What is that going to be like 10? Ooh, wow, that's older than I actually thought it was. So that's going to be 0304 Ice. Very nice Patrick Marlowe. Nice numbered card there. And actually, that's a really cool looking card here. I've not uh, not actually checked out any of this stuff, I don't think, ever. Very, very nice. Uh, so, number 722 of 1,000. 
Jeff Hackett there for the Flyers. Really small, like dime size kind of jersey swatch there, but it's a cool looking card. Uh, sweater worn while wow, with Boston, so that's also interesting that that's a Boston jersey. But uh, that is going to be from Pacific 0304. Uh, looks like reserve private stock, so that's pretty pretty cool. I've never opened any of that, uh, at least to date. I guess we'll do this team bag here of some loose cards. I see some buckets on top there, Jose Lean. Right off the bat from uh, 89 Fleer. Let's see what we have behind here. So Jesse Barfield, Kevin Brown, Mike Morgan's a good name, Mitch Williams. We've got some sticker cards there. I'll give those to my son. Actually, the rest are all stickers. Man, my son will definitely appreciate these. He stickers the heck out of everything. Uh, just got to try and keep them off the walls. All right, next team back here. We've got some hockey, it looks like, front and back. Looks like Eric Lindros on the front and back. Let's see if this is an Eric Lindros team bag. So uh, there we go. Yeah, it is an Eric Lindros team bag. That's from uh, Gold Reserve there, Upper Deck Gold Reserve, 99-2000. Very nice. Eric Lindros right there. Another Eric Lindros right here. That is a diamond cut uh, from Black Diamond. Pretty cool looking card. I don't think I've ever opened that year. I don't think. 99-2000. Maybe I did open a couple loose packs of that, but uh, I've never pulled one of these, that's for sure. And then we got Stadium Club Onx Extreme. Uh, Eric Lindros right there. Nice little die cut action. And actually, that's really intricate there. Look at those die cuts there. Pretty cool looking stuff there for sure. Uh, is, for anybody that's curious, going to be from 2000-2001. So pretty cool stuff there. That will definitely go in the PC. Uh, we got Brendan Morrison here with a game jersey on the front. Doug White, Chris Osgood. I wonder if that's a... Dual jersey card on the back. That'd be pretty cool. That's a couple of good players for sure that I definitely was pretty big on in the day when they were playing. Uh, let's go front to back. Oh, yeah, it definitely is. So we got game jersey there. Brennan Morrison from, uh, looks like Pacific, but it's actually uh, Prism 04. Interesting there. That should be Pacific Prism, I do believe. Yeah, Pacific Prism. That's 681 of 685 for Brennan Morrison. Another little dime size kind of game jersey piece there. Pretty cool. And then there it is. Look at that, guys. A dual swatch. That's from Luxury Suite 2004. And then, actually, I'll show you guys the numbering. 115 to 650. Authentic game-worn jerseys right there. Dougie Waite and Chris Osgood for the Blues. That's a really nice-looking card right there. I like that one a heck of a lot. Let's see what we got in these ones right here. Some loose cards in this one. Looks like some 81 Don Russ right on top. And we got a Milt Wilcox right off the bat. Uh, Dave Radish, Jewel Youngblood, Jesus Figueroa, Andy Hassler, Mark Little, Ron C., John Matlock, Jeff Zahn, Joe Amal Fatino, Floyd Bannister, remember him, Neil Allen, Mike Easler, Dave Edwards, Byron McLaughlin, Stan Pappy, Gene Tenace, Dave Rader. Dave Roberts, Steve Howe, and then we got uh, some hockey from 0506, Antoine Volchenkov, Jose Theodore, and Oleg Tevardovsky. Once again, those are all from 0506. Last little team bag right here. Looks like we got some hockey front and back. Let's see what we have in here. These are all, well, some of them are sleeved, so let's see what we have. Ilya Kovalchuk right off the bat from Black Diamond. Uh, let's see what's crazy. Anything crazy about that? It's a triple diamond, actually. I didn't even notice that. So from nine ten, uh, yeah. And actually, you could tell in these older cards there. I didn't even notice the uh, the triple diamonds. They line those on the front, not like the actual kind of gems. Even though they're manufactured gems, they put on today's nice President's Trophy Hardware Heroes. That's a really cool looking card right there for uh, the man. Oh, jeez, Stevie I almost dropped that there. Pretty cool. We got some football. We got some crown mixed in here. Majestic motion uh, is Wes Welker. That's actually definitely a good player right there. I'll show you guys the back of that. That's from 2012. Very nice. Eric Decker, rookie card from Topps Chrome for the Broncos, and that's a rookie refractor. That's going to be from 2010. And we got some basketball here mixed out in the end. Uh, nice Grant Hill. NBA Hollow. GFX graphics, I guess. Uh, that's from 99, Upper Deck. Did not open any of that. And we got DeAndre Hopkins, star rookie card from 2013. Very nice. We got some contenders. Russell Wilson from 16 contenders. 
Todd Gurley the second, David Johnson. Then we got round numbers, DeForest Buckner and uh, Joey Bossa from 16 Contenders as well. We got Larry Fitzgerald from 15 Certified Skills Card. Love Larry. He was a heck of a player when he was here at Pitt. Um, Michael Brockers, rookie card there from Score 12. Alshon Jeffrey from Score 12 as well. Hot, hot rookies there. Peyton Manning. Really nice draft picks, really. What? That is really, really nice. Get the heck out of here. From uh, Okay, so it's a flashback. I, I was going to say, you got to be kidding me that we got an actual Peyton Manning rookie card here. From 2012 Tops. Obviously, you can see the stats that are good back with uh, 98 and stuff like that. But uh, still a very nice Peyton Manning draft picks card there. we got some of these playoff performers to end. Marty St. Louis and Yar I'm sorry, uh, Jerome Aginla. And as I believe are from 0506. Yeah, 0506 upper deck. So, yeah, thank you very much, Brad. Appreciate that package. And last but not least, we got a big old package here, and I believe this is going to be from Randy. Uh, once again, I was kind of expecting this one here. Faithful viewer of the channel, much appreciated. All around good guy. I uh, just kind of cut this stuff open because I noticed it was in such good packing, uh, you know, which I appreciate, Randy. We're going to pull this out of here first. And we got this kind of package here. I know there was a letter. I just didn't pull the stuff out quite yet. <laughs> Very cool looking here. Let me back this up so you guys can actually see this. A nice growing the hobby design there. Thank you. Uh, once again, like I said, Randy, I believe. Yep, this is Randy's package. So Very nice. Let's see what Randy has to say to everybody. So congrats on 1,000 subs. That's no small task. I hope you keep making videos and piling up the subs. Here's a stash I've been saving for you of Pirates and your boy, the Polar Bear. That is Pete Alonzo, if anybody's wondering. Randy Thomas, appreciate that, Randy. Uh, very much so. I'll try and see if that will kind of stay up in the background for the duration of the video. Appreciate this package for sure, buddy. And I saw you got me quite a bit of tins in here from 2021 Tops Series 1. And I'm going to guess these are not original uh, Series 1 cards in here. These are not sealed tins or anything like that. I'm going to have to use the old straight razor on this, actually, with the uh, kind of the packing tape. Actually, maybe I can get this one. There we go. Let's pull this off here. Let's see what we have in tin number one. Nice team bags and everything. Great packaging job, I will say that, Randy. Very, uh, very, very nice stuff. And uh, I've already reached out to you, Randy, and just know that I am working on your package. Definitely going to take care of you, buddy, with uh, your Astros, for sure. I think you're going to like what I'm sending. i got some plans with some good cards to send you. So we got a team bag right off the bat. I see my boy, Polar Bear, here uh, in both of these, kind of the team bag as well as the case here. So I'm going to think that maybe these are all maybe my boy, the Polar Bear cards. That's my number one PC guy as far as baseball goes for anybody that's wondering. Even though I'm in Pittsburgh, I love Pete Alonzo, and I do love the Mets. All right, so from 2020 Contenders, we got uh, my boy, the Polar Bear there. We got a Diamond Kings of Pete, a regular Don Russ base from Heritage, the 72 design, which is 2021. We got the boy, the Polar Bear, Boyhood Stars. Wow, lots of Polar Bear action here for sure. An action card. Opening day 2021, a couple of, oh, and then actually that's a uh, Series 1 card there. The 52 uh, design there. Pete Home Run Challenge card, very nice. The 86 design. This is all 2021 stuff, if you're wondering. Then we got some Chrome. Very nice Rookie Cup card there. That should be uh, Chrome Update, I believe. Yep, there you go, from 2020. And my boy, the Polar Bear, again there. Very nice. Let's see what we have in this kind of case right here. Let's see if we can get this open. Once again, Randy, great job packing this for sure, buddy. You uh, did a heck of a job packing this. You know, and I definitely appreciate that. You know, the stuff's not getting banged around or dinged up. It's a good thing I didn't trim my nails all the way to nothing. I almost did that right before this video. But uh, nails are going to come into to play today, definitely. All right. Big old stack here. I see the polar bear on the front and back. So I'm going to assume these are all polar bear cards again, which I'm definitely not complaining about that. So we got some Bowman's Best here. My boy, the Polar Bear there. Diamond Kings Optic, Pete. Another nice uh, hollow card there from Donruss. There's a nice Spectra card, super thick stock as those are. 
Check that out front and back. Really nice prism one, no less. I like that a lot. Obsidian, very nice, very nice. Mythical, wow. Lots and lots of my boy, the polar bear. Definitely appreciate these cards very much uh, because I'm always looking, and there we go. There's a nice rookie. Of my boy, the polar bear right there. Heck yeah, we'll set that aside and get that sleeved up and cased. Aficionado from Diamond Kings. Nice. It's, wow, I do not have that card, Randy. You have quite the uh, Pete Alonzo collection that you had here. Very nice here from 2020 Gypsy Queen. Leaders cards from Heritage. Nice uh, rainbow foil there from 20. Don Russ. Wow, look at this. You got the variation. You got everything, buddy. Wow. From Holiday. That's going to be from 2019 because that's a rookie right there. Very good stuff. The Subway Series, which were an exclusive, I believe, retail exclusive. I just can't remember too exactly what. Wow. Really, really nice stuff here from Big League. Leaders cards. Roll Call. And then from 2020, Allen & Ginner. So really nice stuff in that first 10. Lots of the Polar Bear. Lots of those I actually did not have. So I appreciate that, Randy. Once again, for sure, buddy. Let's see if I can get this with him without having to use a straight razor. I think we'll be all right. Uh, I think. Maybe we might have to. Actually, we might have to use the old straight razor on this one. Pull it off there so I don't amputate a finger. Let's see what we have in tin number two. Once again, great packing job. Oh, looks like we've got a Buccos one here. we got Roberto Clemente, as well as a case, a team bag and a case again. Very, very good stuff. Let's see, we got in the team bag here first with Roberto Clemente, one of the all-time greats, not just for the Buccos, but in baseball history. Starting to try to get quite a PC of Roberto Clemente going on here. So we got Legends of Baseball right off the bat. The great one from Heritage, another great one. That's right, this was a subset in Heritage. Wow, five of them there. Actually, I have that one. I pulled that one so far. 86 Design, Steam Club Chrome. Very nice looking card there, actually. I do not have that. That's really, really nice looking card. And last but not least, heck yeah, from uh, Museum Collection. Beautiful looking Roberto Clemente there from 2020 Museum Collection. Awesome stuff there. Let's see what we have in the kind of little case here. Get that opened here. I'll kind of clean this up after the video is done. I don't want to tie up too much time for y'all. I want to fit this. My goal is to kind of get these all onto one video. I know I have some more viewer mail I'm going to have to get to. I noticed uh, right as I was about to uh, be decided on just making this viewer mail video, we got a little bit more in the old PO box. So I have another viewer mail video coming up here in the very near future. All right, let's see what we have in this one. I saw Ralph Kiner on the back, so this might be a little bit of a mixture. So a numbers game right there for Roberto. Nice. Look at that. The mini and the full size from Allen Ginner 2020. Really good stuff there. From Diamond Kings, we got some Roberto Clemente and Artist Proof. That's really nice. Heck yeah. Diamond Kings all time. The 74 design from Heritage. Or not from Heritage, but uh, Archives 2020, that is. Another one there. Maybe there's something different but i don't think so on that decades best very nice buckos team card look at that jb unfortunately now you know formerly the buckos as we get rid of all of our good players but out of 299 very very nice stuff that's actually 21 of 299 from bowman platinum that'll be 2020 right there not with washington but uh, not having a great year as of the recording of this video so we got the numbered version and the original I'm thinking, is this the chartreuse? It might even be the chartreuse, actually, uh, parallels. That's what it kind of looks like. It's so tough to tell with with all the shine and stuff, but I believe that last one's uh, chartreuse. Artist proof there from Diamond Kings, the JB again. Big League JB, Diamond Kings, Purple Hollow, regular, Donruss 20. That's one of those metallic chrome ones. If you can't tell from the, uh, the shimmering, maybe you can see it like that. Very nice from Fire, Allen and Ginter. That's 2018 Allen and Ginter, actually. We got the uh, Turkey Reds from Bowman 2018. Nice Bowman Platinum again. We got some Stadium Club, really cool photos. Got uh, that should be an X Fractor there from 18. Regular old Chrome there, Optic. 
Diamond Kings. Wow. Diamond Kings. I don't know if that's a... It's definitely parallel. I don't know if that's orange or what that one's called, but it's a prism. We've got some finest action there. Nice. Very, very nice. Wow. Well, that's a JB. Brian Reynolds. Turkey Red. Big Leagues Orange Parallel, I believe those are called. Bill Mazeroski, one of the other great ones here for the Buccos, and Ralph Kiner, very, very nice. And we still got one tin to go. Let's see what we have in this one. From the channel's friend, Randy. Once again, I appreciate this. I appreciate each and all of you. You know, you guys don't have to do this. It's definitely much appreciated, though. And like I said, while I can, I'm absolutely going to send you guys some things back. Because I think it's great to promote the hobby and share your collection with each other and stuff like that. It's really, really good stuff. A couple of team bags. Oh, we got a loose card there. That's awesome, actually. I do not have that. From opening day 2021. That's our mascot right there, the Pirate Parrot. Very, very cool. My son will actually get a huge kick out of that card. Uh, he has quite a few pictures with the uh, Pirate Parrot, so that's actually a really cool card. Going to go right to him for sure. We've got one more team bag here. It's kind of trapped in the bottom of this one. Actually, I don't feel as bad. I can pull these out now because they're actually top-loaded. Just a little bit of stickage going on here. Let me pull that back because I don't want to knock the camera right over. Uh, there we go. I have to pull that out of the actual tin. There we go. Now we got it. All right, so let's check these ones uh, out first in this team bag here. JB on the top again, but these are some loose cards, or sleeved cards, I should say. Then we'll get into the last one with all the top-loaded ones. So JB there from Heritage, that's going to be 2018. That's a really nice, cool throwback to the uh, 68 design there for 2017 Rookie Stars. That's awesome. JB and Tower Glass now, so rookie, cars, rookie card combo there from Heritage. It's actually a really, really cool one. I like that a lot. And wow, JB rookie card. Man, that's awesome. That's my son's favorite player, if I haven't told you guys on here, uh, as far as it was for the Buccos. You know, he's now unfortunately gone and with Washington. He's Donruss. Another JB rookie card there from Diamond Kings. Another one from Stadium Club. Opening day, 2018. And we got some rookie cards again here from 2017 opening day. Wow, 2017 Chrome. That's a nice, beautiful looking card there. And then we got the Chrome Refractor rookie from 2017. Oh, nice card to end with in that team bag from Spectra. Very nice JB jersey there. Hopefully it's game worn. Let's see what that says here at the bottom. Player worn, used material, so they can't guarantee that it's game worn. It might just be something they wore in a photo shoot or whatever, but that's still really cool. I like that a lot. And let's check out our last team bag here. Lots of top-loaded cards. I like the card that's right on top. Beautiful rated rookie. And that's a definite parallel as well. Uh, from Optic. Really cool-looking stuff there. From 2017 Optic. That is a Prism rated rookie there, JB. Not sure on the uh, the name of that one. Right off the top of my head, that's kind of Prism there. Then we got the rookies. JB also from Optic. Another one, so we got the chrome and the paper version, I guess. So that's actually really, really neat. Then we got the prospects from Don Russ. Another, wow, from Absolute JB right there. And I think that might be a blue parallel. I'm not 100%. I don't open a ton of Absolute every year, but uh, that may or may not be a parallel. That's still really cool either way. Who cares? Nice prism silver rookie right there. Very, very nice stuff. Chronicles, nice, 177, a 499, nice little jersey swatch. That's pretty cool stuff. I like that a lot. Then we got a Roberto Clemente gray frame from Diamond Kings. Real cool right there. That's 2017, if you're wondering. And then last but not least, oh, heck yeah. Nice way to end it. Look at that, my boy, the Polar Bear photo variation. Sick stuff from 2020. Really, really cool stuff. I definitely don't have that card. That is an awesome card. Absolutely awesome card. Very, very nice stuff. Sweet. Thank you very much, Randy, once again. And thank you, Brad, as well, during this video here. I will definitely be sending you guys some cool stuff. I can promise you that. Uh, Randy, like I said, I will take care of you with Astro stuff. And once again, Brad, if you happen to catch this video and, and or your brother, actually, I have not sent your package yet, so you maybe have another chance here of about a week um, to reply with, you know, your favorite uh, PC cards, players, things like that. Put together a package for you. If not, I know you guys are from Toronto, so 
I will probably put you guys uh, a Toronto heavy package together to send back to the two of you. But yeah, guys, much appreciated, much love. You know, once again, they always say in the card community, you know, it's a thing. Card community is definitely a thing. I, I definitely appreciate, you know, what you guys are doing here and stuff. And the whole goal of this channel is to, to have a little bit of fun, break a lot of cards, check out some cool things. You know, maybe people can't afford certain things. I'm not saying that I'm rich by any means, but uh, while I have the means to, I'm going to keep buying uh, products, opening videos for everybody to kind of check out. Uh, and you can, you know, live vicariously through me and, uh, you know, appreciate doing these trade-offs and whatnot with uh, everybody. You know, like I said, I'll continue to do these while I can. Send both y'all some great things back. I send some care packages out every now and then. I can't guarantee that I can send everyone a care package, but uh, I do try to take care of some people with that when I can as well. But yeah, guys, uh, much love, much appreciated. Like I said, uh, a thousand subs plus. Still going strong, and I, I intend on going strong as long as we can on this channel for sure. Uh, please do me a favor, guys. Like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. And if you guys don't know on the Instagram, uh, if you have that and you kind of follow along with the channel there, I will say that I do post kind of the thumbnails uh, when I do the videos and stuff like that. I post the thumbnails always on there uh, so you guys can kind of get a little glimpse as to what videos to expect, you know, upcoming on the channel and stuff like that. Maybe I'll give you guys like a little tease and tell you. You know, if I got some big pools or things like that. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, have a great day, a great night wherever you all are at. Much appreciated once again, everyone. And we will see you next time.